Brexit trade talks are reaching a pivotal moment as the EU's game plan is exposed by leaks. Prime Minister Boris Johnson reached an agreement with President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen last week to extend Brexit trade talks for another month. EU sources said the conversation was, not a game-changer, but not unhelpful, with both sides showing resolve to find, landing zones, on the most difficult areas. It comes after the EU and UK negotiators have clashed over their respective red lines, leading to stalled negotiations. Brussels negotiator Michel Barnier has demanded the EU keep access to UK waters, or Britain will be excluded from European markets. Meanwhile, the UK's internal market bill has infuriated the bloc as it seeks to override the withdrawal agreement. As both negotiating teams prepare for the final stages of talks, Mr Johnson may know more about Mr Barnier's game plan than Brussels would like. This is because, last month, EU cables were leaked. It laid bare Brussels' anger with the UK, but also revealed what the EU thought Britain will try to do in talks. The cables said Mr Johnson is suspected of holding back on finding a compromise on the key outstanding issues of fisheries, state aid and dispute resolution until the last moment in order to achieve a last-minute trade-off. The strategy has been described by officials in Mr Barnier's team as concerning, given the complexity of the issues. An official from the European Commission told EU diplomats, these points will not be easy to iron out with just a phone call between leaders. It is leaving it too late. The Commission also feared the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, will attempt to go round Brussels and open side negotiations on internal security after inviting ministers from the five largest EU member states to a meeting in London. Commission officials have asked the capitals to avoid agreeing to any British proposals made there. They added, we need to be clear that nothing can be decided in those fields subject to negotiation. The bloc and the UK are this week trying to conclude talks over fisheries.